welcome back to my channel hello patrons all right so this is a celebrity reading your first exclusive access to celebrity readings uh if you're watching this on youtube and you're brand new hit the sub button as well as the bell notification i drop videos weekly this is a celebrity tarot reading um let's see if you're not a patron become a patron my tiers are three and four dollars a month and you get access to exclusive winnings exclusive giveaways that i only do for my patrons also, if you like a private reading, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. All right, getting out of all of this, uh, just a small disclaimer. You read the disclaimer at the beginning of the video. This is all fan fiction. It's not true if you don't believe. Alleged, 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 alleged. None of this is true. All of this is opinion. So don't take it personal, especially if this is your fave. But you can always fight me in the comments if you need to. Um, hey, voice your opinions. As long as they don't do too crazy. And then, you know, let's keep it positively and negatively positive you know nothing you know slanderous or psychotic or you know people be getting crazy in these comments but anyway let's get into the reading so we're doing another rundown we're talking about we're asking about tori lanes so meg came out and admitted that tori shot her which we already knew uh just for um time stamp's sake let's see you want to know that pull out my little ipad it is, boom, August 22nd, Saturday, 6.30. Uh, so yeah, so whenever you're watching this on YouTube, this video is backdated to August 22nd. Um, but yeah, so man came out about Tory Lanez. Uh, oof, all types of people are coming about, about uh, Trey Songs. I did do a reading on Trey Songs. Oh uh, yeah, so I think I spoke too soon with that one. Or The energy that we picked up on was that Trey was maturing. But little did we know Trey was maturing because he had motive 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 and uh what else what else do we want to talk about what else do we want to talk about oh yeah for those of you that are fans of camilla and lauren former members of fifth harmony apparently they had some type of relationship or something or somebody heard something in the streets we're gonna get into that we're gonna find out get all in the business and yeah so first up uh I want to find out uh, what's coming up for Trey Songs. What is it that we don't see? So we're gonna call on this here, guys, and in, in the universe as always. So thank you, universe, for the channel messages about Trey in regards to the allegations against Trey Songs. Ooh, stuff is already falling out. Is there truth to it? So I already feel the the energy that there is some truth to what's coming out about Trey Songs. Is there truth? to the allegations that are coming about Trey's songs. Is there truth to the allegations coming out about Trey? Not, I'm not feeling it. Give me two more cards, universe. That one, fill in that one too. Give me one more card, universe. Is there truth in regards to the allegations coming out about Trey? So far, we got the three of swords that came out at the bottom of the deck. Definitely someone's doing damage control. What I do want to say to those of you, because I get people that go, that's not what the cards say. I'm an intuitive reader also, you all. So read that in my about section. I pick up on intuitive psychic messages. I have plenty of clients that can tell you. I've picked up on some things that the cards just cannot tell you. Uh, but anyway, small disclaimer. I'm just picking that up. <laughs> Let me put this out here. Uh, so we got the six of wands that came out in the reverse. Ooh, there's many people. We got the ace of cups. Ooh, many people. Yes, these are looking true. We got the page of swords that came out in the reverse. He's hiding right now, you all. Hiding. And then we have the ten of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Yes, there's some truth to this. He's in hideout right now. In regards to what was going down, damage control, most definitely. There's going to be other energies, other women that's coming out other black women that's coming out and for those of you that's watching of course trey songs deals with he's an equal opportunity dater but the women that's been coming out thus far has been um non-black women but famous women famous ladies of the evening famous sex workers like these are women that that pretty much make their rounds and just about everybody deals with them uh Reason why black women in particular are coming out. Kiki Palmer, about two years ago, uh, came out about Trey Songs. Other singers, BB Rexa, uh, has come out about Trey Songs. However, though, it's been stuff coming through. And of course, we know BB's not black, but still, just other black singers, uh, entertainers in particular, or, or famous Insta models, are going to be coming out in regards to Trey Songs. 
So you know, uh, universe, give us more information in regards to what's going on with Trey. What's coming up for Trey in regards to his allegations? How will it affect his career? How will these allegations affect Trey Song's career? How these allegations affect Trey's career? Ah, wow, the King of Wands, my Trey songs, my Trey songs card. And we have the hair font. So right now, Trey is in talks with lawyers and wise counsel. That's what we got with this hair font card. Trey has been spreading his wands. <laughs> wow. The king of wands definitely is that playboy energy. He's a king. He, he, you know, he has a lot. He has the means. But this king of wands energy, this is somebody who's spreading it wide, you know, spreading it wide and dipping it low. Trey is out there. And I guess he's not changing his king anytime soon. Uh, he's still in that king of wands energy. So, but definitely he's currently in talks with lawyers and otherwise counsel. There's damage control because... Um, what I do know is all, already you have retaliation in regards to the streaming services. Spotify has muted Trey. So that, and that's, that's Trey's pockets right there. So what I'm getting, what I'm picking up is Trey is going to be in heavy damage control mode. Trey is going to be doing all the, you know, he, he's going to be, Trey loves the kids, Trey and black love, black power, you know, let's switch the focus. Trey is going to become what I'm picking up, he's going to start doing more conscious music, kind of shy away from um, sex, 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 sex. Definitely what I'm hearing in regards to the proof is in his music. Listen to his music. It's just like, not that I'm now, I'm not getting R. Kelly vibes from Trey. Trey is not an R. Kelly. I'm not getting the vibes that he's messing with young girls. None of that. He's not even interested. But what the, the link there, and this is crazy because Trey always said that his favorite singer was R. Kelly. What encouraged him to do this is R. Kelly. What's coming through in regards to that is with Trey, uh, just like how R. Kelly, the proof was in his music. All those songs were about young girls and this, this, that, and the other. Seems like you're ready. A um, little bit of bump and grind. The same thing with Trey. His, everything is in his music. So when, uh, his most animalistic, just crazy type songs where it's like, who is doing that? That, yeah, there you go. So that's crazy, you know. You all, I hope he gets it together. I mean, from what I... No, uh, I don't know though. I don't even know. Can I hope that he? Get, I mean, you. I guess you always want people to figure things out. Um, at one point in time, I was a huge fan of Trey's music, and then it just got to be too redundant and constantly about the same thing. But at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't know. But anyway, what's coming up um, for his career in regards to this? We have the two of wands that came out in reverse. Yeah, that's him slowing down. He's definitely about to really beef some stuff up in regards to the black love, black family, civil rights, conscious music thing. We got the nine of cups that came out in the upright. So it's not totally over. Trey is not canceled with this nine of cups. That's what I'm getting. We got the full card. He's not coming out with anything new yet. And I feel like that we picked up in this, the first reading, which I'm going to link at the bottom of this one. That first reading that I did a Trey saying that he wasn't really going to drop anything really this year. Definitely now with this kind of setback, I feel like definitely he was gearing up. And I was kind of mentioning that in that first reading too, that he was going to drop little songs here and there. He was going to hear, but we were going to get an album, album top of 2021 or in 2021. Yeah, we're really not getting nothing too serious right now. He's going to try to wait for this to blow over. He's still going to be dropping little things to kind of go, you know, beep, beep. But maybe something again towards his birthday, which is at the end of of what month is that november however though yeah he's he's kind of going to be laying low and, and keeping quiet we got the queen of swords that came out in the reverse and we got look at that the three of cups laying low and keeping quiet trey may just settle down or find a set girlfriend or might go towards the mother of his child for damage control you know try to portray an image try to portray that family wholesome image that's what i'm getting because definitely there's going to be more women coming out these are definitely going to be black women other black because to what's going on right now with uh meg and how she's saying how uh black women how we tend to be the least protected when it comes to violence or just anything really um definitely in american culture now for those of you that's watching outside of american culture i mean hey but i can tell you for american culture you know it gets a bit you know disheartening and so you're going to get other singers though this, this these are entertainer and insta models that's going to be coming out most definitely yeah trey's been been acting foul you know and this is not in and bashing 
of Trey of the Black Man, but this is what's coming through the cards. This is allegedly, this is tarot fiction for those of you uh, who feel the way, but this is what's coming out in the cards. Um, most death, oof. So I say, yeah, all we can do is sit around, wait and see how this all plays out. But yeah, he's definitely lawyered up right now. He's counter counteracting his his record label trying to figure out like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So definitely he's trying to figure some things out. Uh, let's move on to the second reading I want to do. And that is. Tory Lanez. I want to know what's the karma coming towards Tory Lanez in regards to him shooting Meg. So definitely I have a lot of commentary in regards to that. I'm not going to get super deep into how I feel about that situation. Um, it's, it's ridiculous and it's disgusting. And that's, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Anyway, so we got into a previous reading. Why Trey, or not Trey why Tori shot Megan. So we got the in and out and that was confirmed by Megan herself in her recent live. Uh, the one where she had on, you know, she had to look really pretty in that live. She didn't have on that much makeup. She had the little green hair going on. I thought she looked really cute. Uh, very much was so younger. I mean, it was, she is, she's only 25, but, but literally Megan looked about 19. She looked like a high schooler almost. Um, so very youthful and, and it, it was just sad just looking at her face I'm like man that's just messed up because I don't know Megan just doesn't and I granted you know the, the lady could be a tyrant and I am a fan of Meg's but at the same time I'm a realistic fan too but it just I'm just looking at her I'm like from looks so, I'm like come on what is Meg doing to anybody especially Meg had on a whole string bikini what is she what is she doing to you know that was some straight up just BS, Tori Schooner. But anyway, I digress. We're not gonna get into that one. Anyway, so what is Tori's karma for shooting Megan? What is, he's definitely getting deported. I heard that. Uh, what is Tori's karma, karma for shooting Megan? And we already got the why. There's some, yeah, it's just, it's just true short man syndrome going on. What is Tori's? Karma for shooting Megan. I need two more cards in reverse. All right, I got more than that. We got justice in reverse. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a definitely. There's she's gonna press charges at some point. As of yet, she hasn't. My theory that so the thing about it is, I know that Megan was trying to protect Tory Lanez and herself at the time, so she didn't want to call the police right off the bat because on the night that it happened because she was scared she didn't know you know police was gonna start pop pop popping at everybody that was black including herself however though my only thing is megan 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 why didn't you call the police after you were safe sound at home and a new location when she did her first live and i my theory is that you know it's because you know they had a thing going on they were feeling still involved with that and of course with any abusive domestic situation going on it's hard for people to just you know pull away like that so that's one of my also i feel like there maybe was some money some records tied into maybe why megan did not want to say anything because it's no secret that megan is working on her record on her music um it's just that the stuff behind the scenes is the reason why we don't have a full album from megan and so I feel like maybe Tori did a lot of the production and hey, but at this point, if that's the case, the album just gotta get scrapped. I, I do not wanna hear anything produced by Tori at this point. And I really rocked with his music, at least with the stuff he produced. That was, some, he had some bops. So, but yeah, definitely the justice system is gonna be involved. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over and done for Tori. Look at that, oh my gosh, I had a feeling this card was gonna come out. We got the dev card that came in reverse. So with this death card, what I'm getting is his career isn't completely over. He may continue to produce music and write under an alias name, but his career as a as a as an artist, unless you know, unless there's a small Toronto market for <laughs> what he does, yeah, he's done. Look at that Queen of Cups, yeah, fan base done. He's gonna also gonna stay radio silent for for a minute. He's gonna stay. He yeah, he's done. He's done. He's getting deported. Look at that. He's being released. Look at this eight of swords that came out in reverse. He's being released from contracts. His label is dropping him. He's done. Look at that. 
seven of swords i mean seven of wands that came out in reverse he's done it's a done deal he did this to himself yeah contracts are releasing him um endorsements if you have any are releasing him definitely the streaming services they're pulling his stuff even on youtube they're, they're going to be pulling and blocking stuff left and right he's done because it's, it's not going to be a good look look unsuccessful he's losing his career oh my gosh look at fallen star it's like the tarot the energy knows the energy knows it's, it feels like magic you all but it's not like this is just how connected we are he's done he's oh my gosh oh people are detaching from this man like his name is jeffrey epstein he's done he's a done deal Let's stick a fork in him in fact he's burnt look at that judgment day oh he <laughs> Not only is she pressing charges, not only is he going to be sent back to Canada, not only is this uh, proceeding, he is in for a, a, a poop storm, so to speak, of judgment from the people, from Twitter, Black Twitter, Asian Twitter, all the Twitters that exist, like people are coming down. Like he's literally, and not to take away from Trey and the stuff and the mess that he's doing, but... Trey's stuff came out at the best time in regards to information being the, the the spotlight being taken off of him, and that's not diminishing what Trey has done, Trey songs. But there's about to be a a lynch mob, you know, get Tory campaign. He's done. He's the sacrificial lamb. He's the sacrificial lamb. And look at that, the temperance. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, his career is is over. So okay, this is the thing that's coming out in the intuitive energy. His career isn't so over that he's not going to make money. He's still going to make money. Artists will still work with him, but it's going to be on some very secretive, low, low type stuff. He's going to pretty much default into producer mode. And it's going to be under an alias name. That's what's coming through. But his career as, as, a, as, a, as a musician, whatever he does, rap sings, I don't know what, what he does, honestly. Um, but whatever he does... <laughs> Uh, whatever genre he falls under is 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 over. He's done. He's done. Yeah, this is mm, that's his karma. That's what he did, and he's gonna be living a very uh, modest in comparison to what now. So he's not gonna be like crazy broke and things of that nature. He still will be making in he'll in regards to uh, money coming his way. I'm getting six figures. He'll still be in that range. Rich people modest. Rich people broke. Um, but lower six-figure range. Like, he's he's going to be living a modest life in comparison to now. People are still going to mess with him. I am getting in regards to the intuitive psych psychic messages that's coming through that he'll still have uh, Insta, Insta people, Insta models, access to them, those type of women. But the industry, yeah, he's not going to be touched. But his come up that's coming through is going to be in regards to... Uh, newer artist that's going to be coming out. He's going to pretty much take him because he's he's going to be cheap to to get a beat from. So he's still going to be writing producer, but under an alias name. That's what's coming through. Give us some more messages about this. How does Megan feel about Tori at the moment? Oh, she's done too. More messages about this. How does Megan feel about Tori? Yeah, she's hurt. She's hurt. But look at this. She don't want him no more. She's done. Look, she walked away. Emotionally, Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. She was crazy about him, though, with this Page of Pentacles. There's still care there, but she's done. She's done. Let's see, how will... What would be the ultimate outcome between Megan and Tori? Will he try to make contact with her and apologize? Will he try to make contact with her? And apologize. Yeah, he's done. And I'm here, Megan. There's somebody already trying to get with Megan. Another prominent singer, or no, this is a rapper who's in her DMs. Yeah, we got the Five of Swords. How is Tori gonna? Yep. He's gonna try to make some type of contact towards her. We got the Hermit card that's in the reverse. So he's gonna he's gonna try to make some type of contact towards her. Definitely in regards to court proceedings, pressing charges, they will have to have contact, but he feels disappointed. Yep, he feels disappointed. He, he's done. He's done. A part of him, he's feeling ashamed. He's done, though. He's done. And, and as people continue to shame and ostracize him, he, this is going to be his one big regret. He's done. He might even create a song saying, I'm sorry to Meg. He's going to try to that angle, too. That's what's coming out. 
um, sometime maybe the, the, the towards the end of this year or next year more so, next year when things start opening up and popping more. Definitely I'm hearing in regards to lifting COVID, uh, the, the current pandemic and things of what's going on right now, that's gonna be more so 2021. Things will get back to the new normal because they won't go back to the same, but new normal. But yeah, he's done, she's done, and he's definitely going, he's gonna try to, and people are gonna ostracize him for that. Like, yo, keep her name out your mouth. But he's gonna try to to get a sing-songy thing going on, apologizing to her or mentioning it and doing some type of, there's gonna be some big interview, maybe with, with some publication, with Vlad, because I am picking up a Vlad interview because you know, Vlad be all over the world. Um, to try to, you know, figure out, you know, how do you feel about this? Yeah, he's gonna try to do some type of, you know, weak whack mentioning apology type thing to smooth this over, but he will really feel remorse in regards to that. He, he really is, that's what I'm getting with that. All right, and let's get into our very last reading. And this is about Camilla and Lauren of Fifth Harmony. Like, this was wild. I, I had no idea that they had a thing going on, according to the fans, because uh, to my knowledge, Camilla is still with Sean Mendez, I think. Um, but then there's whispers about Sean Mendez and, and what Sean Mendez is really into, which in reality, I'm like, you guys, all I know is Sean Mendez makes amazing music. I haven't heard about him needing to be canceled or nothing like that. And I do really enjoy Sean Mendez's music. Uh, yeah, and just, I can't take away. Camila's uh, talent. I did really dig her music. You know, it's just a shame. I, did. I don't know. I don't know. And, I mean, folks being too too much. That's all I know. Uh, but anyway, let's get into Lauren and Camilla. So universe, Lauren and Camilla's spirit guides. Was there ever anything romantic between Lauren and Camilla? Give us full and total insight. Is there ever anything romantic between Lauren and Camilla? Give us full and total insight. Do I want all of those? No, I don't. Is there anything romantic between Lauren and Camilla? Give us full and total insight. Is there anything romantic between Lauren and Camilla? Give us full and total insight. All right. Bottom of the deck so far, we got the Page of Wands. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's coming out. We got the ooh, we got the hair font that's in the reverse, but in regards to that, I'm getting more so I'm not getting romantic vibes. This is just more so honestly what this is telling me they used to be in a group and now they're no longer in a group. They do keep in contact though with that hair font in reverse. Uh we got the ace of swords. It's sparse contact though. Like, okay, this is what it is. They're on good terms. They don't talk with that Ace of Swords. They're on good terms, though. We got the King of Wands. Ooh, interesting. So I'm not, I'm not so far in the energy. I'm not getting strong vibes that they've had anything together. But something about their uh, romantic situations, like maybe they've dealt with the same guys or same people, rather. Maybe the people they've dealt with have been related or friends or i don't know but something like that we got the two of swords they're close to each other there's a closeness like they're not like hey girl you know like bfffff but there's a closeness there we have the seven of swords there's a yeah you all i'm not getting i'm I, now i don't know where and of course tarot's never finite and the energies can waver I don't know where the situation between Lauren and Camilla came from, but I'm not seeing it with the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Swords that came out in the upright. We have the Wheel of Fortune that came out in the upright. We have the Page of Pentacles. So, okay, I'm not seeing a full-blown relationship. What I can tell you that's coming through the energy, you all. Like, literally, I'm picking up a kiss. Like, I'm not picking up this full-blown and I know I say fan fiction in the beginning of this, but I'm not picking up the fans' fan fiction in regards to what y'all want between Camilla and Lauren. And I'm just not, but let's grab some more. Uh, give us insight to poss possible romantic situation between Lauren and Camilla. Let's see what came out. We got flirt. Yeah, lighthearted. Religious factors, restriction. Like, I feel like there may have been some experimentation 
in regards to one of them like oh hey you know like a girl crush type thing like a like a literal like a like a Katy Perry I kissed the girl and I liked it type of thing but not like oh my gosh I want to marry this woman like I'm not getting that strong energy I'm not and I know like in the I should put this with the Selena and Weekend update. Um, I know that in the, uh, what you call it? In the uh, comment section, I'm seeing these like full drawn out. I heard this and that, da, da, da. and I'm not saying that maybe, maybe not, but I'm not getting strong vibes that they had this full on, full out, blown out, just secretive, nothing. I feel like there, you know, there was this maybe this hidden thing, this one time only, you know, this this look at the draw, like literally this feels like a very quick thing. Maybe a kiss, a drunken night type, you know, maybe there was connections in regards to whom they dealt with. I'm definitely getting um very strong, uh very, very strong non-relationship energy from this particular reading in regards to Camilla and Lauren. So definitely, and then, and, and, hey, once again, the fans, you all definitely may know more, way more, more than what I know. And, and, you know, I encourage you to look up other readings in regards to this, but what I'm getting in this reading, I'm not getting, I'm getting that, yes, there was some type of connection, some type of contact, but literally it's very quick. It feels like a party energy. It feels like a kiss at a party. Feels like, you know, or something very experimental, but very quick out of curiosity, but it doesn't feel like a set, hey, I'm in love with you, let's run out together. Honestly, I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong, like, yeah, the energy is not going in that direction for the two of them. I'm, I'm feeling Camilla with somebody else over here, and that could be Shawn Mendes if they're still together, and I'm feeling Lauren with somebody else where she is, and whomever she's with, but yeah and these two they're they're okay they, they're on good terms but they're not they're not even really like talking like that like i'm, I'm not getting like a that they're not close because you could just because you don't speak to people all the time doesn't mean you're not close but i'm not getting a strong like bfffff energy i'm just not that's what's coming through right now but who knows uh maybe i'll update this in the future but already <laughs> that's the reading that's you all's rundown uh, let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below definitely nothing too crazy you all or i'm gonna have to block delete and all that other crazy stuff but still fight me in the comments if you need to uh we can get the discussion going and yeah if you'd like to book a private reading check the film comment below as well as the description box below and if you're not a patron become a patron of mine tiers are four and below this tier in particular is four dollars you are entered to win a uh, giveaway each month just by being a patron Alrighty, uh, whenever you all see this, yeah, keep safe out there. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.